Hello you, welcome to Geekism. So, Planet Coaster Summer Update 1.3 is out, and one of the coolest new features is something we're going to be looking at today. Here's an overview of how to get started using these billboards! The new billboard feature in the game is absolutely fantastic and there's so much room for scope but first of all we have to learn the basics so here is a guide to how to place them into your park, how to get custom content on them and a couple of ideas of what you could do with them. Okay, we've come over to a relatively empty area of the park to have a look at this then. So if we go into scenery, uh, you'll now see a new category called screens. And there's all different shapes and sizes here. I'm going to quickly throw them down and give you a little bit of an idea of what each of them does. Uh, the menu is in a slightly weird order. but So I'll try and place them down as they, uh, as they go in size order, like so. And then there's those ones. That's great. Uh, so that's one set. And then we also have these we'll have a look at in just a moment and then finally these ones as well and to a lesser extent we have these things that we'll quickly run over to and also the uh, oh, no not you where are you there that's what we want Okay, cool. So, your screens are split into three categories. First one is projector screens. These are the larger screens that have absolutely no detail on them at all. They're basically empty canvases for you to do what you will with. Uh, we have the TV screens. That's these three. They're slightly smaller and they have some rims on them. Uh, so you can uh, use them as a, more of a sort of physical item in the game. Uh, these are going to be really useful for queue times, uh, TV queues, things like that, you know, menus above restaurants. Uh, and then we have uh, more billboards. These ones are shaped in the same size and uh, dimensions as wall panels. Okay, so we'll quickly go over these. These are just a few little bits you get along with the projectors. Uh, these are little sort of clasps, little prongs things things that you can hang the TVs off if you want to in the queue and also you get this small projector it is completely aesthetic it doesn't do anything in the game other than look nice so you can place that in front of the screens if you want to give a real true projection style feel and also it gives a nice glows in the dark as well the TVs light up as a TV would expect to do, but all the other screens have a lit and non-lit version. So when they're dark like this, you can't really tell the difference. But say, for instance, if we put a uh, Chief Beef wide image on this one, uh, we, we've got them upside down, we put a Chief Beef wide image on this one, uh, you'll see a slight difference in the daytime, but it's most notable at nighttime. Uh, you'll see there one of them is very luminescent and the other one isn't so uh, you know bear that in mind when you place them down whether or not you want a lit or a non-lit uh, option talking of uh, putting the chief beef images on there all you have to do is when you've clicked one of them you get a screen that looks like this uh, you're able to select image or movie and there are about 15 different images uh, or maybe less, about 10 different images and 5 different movies. There was a high, le high res and a low res one. There was talk about the low res ones being the only one available in game, but to be honest with you, the low res ones are fine. You really can't tell the difference. It's a screen within a screen. Uh, there's no reason to have massive resolution screens built into these. You can see there, look, that looks fantastic, doesn't it? And uh, at night, it looks awesome too. Oh, I love the like, slight film grain they've got on top of the, uh, of the video there as well. So there you go, there's the Chief Beef one. You can, of course, attach these to a display sequence or any ride trigger for that matter. I'm going to be doing a video dedicated to this little box with all the different things you can do with it. But for now, we'll click Make a Trigger Sequence. And inside our display group, we'll collect this screen here and click Confirm. So now it goes off. And if we click uh, back into, we'll click Done on there, click back into here. Um, we can select how long it plays for. Uh, once triggered, videos will be shown in their entirety. Oh, okay, because you can't edit that, never mind. <laughs> uh, but in here, we can do now, it's tuned up to that, so now if we just give that a play, the screen will activate, so you can have it go off at certain times of the day, when a ride goes past, all the usual. Like I say, we'll do a much bigger video on the little display sequencer here, uh, but for now, just know that your billboards can be connected up to them. Personally, this is the game changer. This really is what's going to start opening the game up, and that is the four and two meter video wall panels. Uh, you can have them lit or non lit. I'm going to use the uh, non lit ones for now, and we're going to add them to this building. We actually need to be inside the building really to be able to do this. Oopsie daisy. Uh, let's go back to that. There we go. Uh, so we're going to add these into the building. Um, it's slightly annoying that the, uh, the the rotation's a little off, but th there is a fixable method there. So what we're going to do is place some of these 4 meter ones there. And if we hold down F, uh, you'll see that they actually snap into place. So we're going to place these along uh, here. Actually, we're just going to place 
one uh, for now. And then we're going to place these wall panels on the floor. Again, the, the snap's a little off, but if you put them to there, then turn them uh, and snap them again. And then, uh, oops, sorry, let's try that again. Put them to there. Oh, let's try that again. Uh, put them down. Okay, so F to place them. Then while you're holding down F, press X. Rotate that to be flat. Click it and place it. And then click it again and press M. Now it's lined up. Okay, there we go. <laughs> it's a bit complicated, but we get there in the end. All right, so now we've got these. Uh, I've actually placed some images already in the user folder. I'm going to show you how to do that in a moment, so don't worry if, you, if I'm jumping ahead. just want to show you what we can do here. We'll click Example Stone. Uh, this is literally, it's not a great pattern, but it's one I just found on the internet before that I thought would work. Looks like it does. Uh, colors are a bit off, but uh, like I say, it was just to, uh, just to get the thing up and running. We can now uh, click that and duplicate it holding then F and you'll get that pattern. Unfortunately the duplication doesn't carry over so you have to keep reduplicating it. You, you get you get like that otherwise or you can just sort of do them all in one go when you when you finish like so. And look at that. Well, that's basically custom content. Like I said this isn't a great uh, pattern at all actually it's awful but it was the first one I found that I knew would tile uh, from glancing at it uh, but there you go you, the game really opens up and here I've got another one we can place on here we've got a, uh, a wall texture um, that will fit quite nicely there should do there we go so we can do that now we can duplicate that across hold that in place as well and put that there you know, and the, the possibilities are endless. I've already seen some really fantastic stuff in the couple of days that Bill Buzz have been out. So I'm, I'm just showing you how to do it, not necessarily what to do at the moment, you know, and just getting the actual uh, sort of setup in place. But there you go. That's uh, how you can use custom textures. Let's show you how to get those custom textures actually into the game. And also, more importantly, because it's a little bit trickier to do, how to find video that you can use in the game using the WebM format that Planet Coaster is, uh, is preferencing. Okay, so I've jumped over to YouTube. I'm looking at some awesome uh, looking channel here. But what I'm going to start doing is looking for some footage that I might want to use in my game. Now, uh, one idea that I've actually seen about three or four different times now on Reddit, on some Facebook groups. I've also saw uh, Rudy Renkamal did it in his billboard video, which is really good. You should check that out as he goes into a little bit more of the detail, uh, sort of design ideas with them as well, which is really good. Um, but one of the things that they've done is to use a billboard uh, placed underwater to create the look of fish being in your water. It's really Really, really fantastic so I'm gonna to have to look for a bit of fish footage that I can use because I'm not technically mine enough to be able to create my own so I'm gonna search for fish pond royalty free and you get all different sorts of things coming up. I'm using royalty free specifically because uh, I want it to be uh, not a problem to have the video being shown in my video uh, but also it's a good practice to use royalty free stuff because you know it's stuff that usually somebody's made that it, and they're more than happy for you to use it in your creative endeavor so I'm going to scroll through here and uh, find a video that I think is suitable Here's a good one. I found a free fish web background video loop stock video footage. Ten points there for the uh, for the title. Uh, so here is a little 15 second video with some fish on it, and they're just sort of hanging around, chilling out. It's looking top down view. Uh, it's not ideal, but for the example that I'm going to be showing you here, it's it's perfect. I'll just play it again for you. What you're looking for here. This is by the way for people who aren't sort of technically minded when it comes to video editing. If you're able to sort of create your own stuff and render it yourself in Photoshop, that's you know in Premiere. Sorry, go for it. This is. For for people who really aren't that tech savvy when it comes to that sort of thing but would like uh, to add some custom content into the game anyway so here we've got a video the main thing i'm looking for here is at the start of the video and at the end of the video there's no title sequence there's no thanks for watching subscribe and all that you just want a blank video because we're not going to do any editing with this so this is 15 seconds of fish <laughs> Awesome, that sounds like a great band name. Um, the other thing you're going to be looking for is that it mentions royalty free uh, in the video as well. And that basically that means that you're allowed to use it in your creative endeavors. As long as you're not uh, monetizing it yourself directly, uh, then you should be fine. So if you're just creating something cool in Planet Coaster, you should have no problem using this kind of thing. Okay, so feel free to download and use. It says here, uh, this is a completely royalty free video for use in whatever you may require it for. That is perfect, exactly what we're looking for. So now we need to get this video off YouTube onto our computers in a suitable format and we're going to do that so simply by typing just before the W, uh, just before the W, just before the Y, excuse me, of YouTube, we're going to try uh, type, tripe, oh my words, put my teeth back in, I'm just so excited about billboards, we're going to type SS, okay, so now instead of going to youtube.com slash the name of the video, we're going to ssyoutube.com slash the name of the video, and it will bring us a website that looks a little bit like this, and please be careful using this website or any sort of website that is going to convert video online for you, 
They have a habit of trying to give you computer aids, if I'm honest, so really careful what you're clicking here. They're going to try and suggest that you add plugins, they're going to try and suggest that you do add-ons and video, you know, and all different horrible stuff. So please be careful. This one, touch wood, I've used before in the past and had no real problem with it, as long as you know what you're doing. So, oh, when you get to here, you're going to click download video in browser. And it'll pop uh, a little thing up here. You're going to click where your quality is. And there'll be various different choices depending on uh, the, vi the quality of the video originally on YouTube. But the one you're going to select is right there. Look, video format, WebM 360p. You're going to click that. And it's going to start downloading it down. You see I've already done all this, by the way. I'm just going through the motions here for you. You're going to click that and that will give you that WebM uh, video of fish. Next up, you're going to find wherever that video went uh, into your downloads folder or wherever you save content from uh, from the internet, and you're going to copy it or cut it and paste it over into your Planet Coaster folder. You'll find this most likely in Documents, Frontier Developments, Planet Coaster, and then you've got User Media and User Music. And user Music is where you put your music files for your speakers. User Media is where all your textures or your pictures and video are going to go for use with billboards. So you're going to pop in there, copy it in. It's already done. You see, there's a few little things I've been playing around with there, uh, but copy it in there. Look fish web ground background perhaps give it a catchier name let's call it um uh fish pond one okay Okay, so we added that video into that folder whilst we were still in game. Uh, the game was just running in the background. Now, that's not a problem. All you have to do is, uh, before you can find it, uh, if you just click this button here, refresh custom texture. <laughs> Let's try that one again. Refresh custom textures folder. There we go, and that'll just find all the new stuff that you placed in there. So let's go to movie, and then click user videos, and there it is, Fish Pond 1. And it looks like it works. Okay, so the the, uh, the contrast is a little off. Unfortunately, that's just one of those things you have to deal with using free videos like this. Um, you know, you could spend a lot of time outside the game in rendering and uh, you know creating it yourself with video software. That's just one of the things with them. Um, with custom content really you know it's it's gonna take a lot of work outside the game to get what you want to happen inside the game but you know it works so what we're gonna do here very quickly like I say I'm not this isn't a, a video about how to do cool stuff with their uh, billboards it's just kind of how to get them working but just to give you an idea of the uh, of the scope that these things have uh, available to them is uh, is something like this so let's just click that drop that down into there there we go and then we'll just put some water over the top of it if we can there we go and obviously you're gonna to have to want to have a little play with the with the features yeah uh, oops it's kind of there there we go and we'll drag that off so it's so it's under the water but only just there we go. very much like we used to do with snow to create ice there we go. And um, a couple of things with billboards. One, you'll notice there that they go black when you move them around. Again, I imagine that's just a case of saving processing power. And the other thing is they only actually play. Uh, you get down here and see the water now. It looks really good. Again, I think it needs a bit more work with the colours to get it a bit darker. Uh, it only They only play when you're on single speed as well. If you speed up, they uh, they just port the video pauses. Okay. So bear that in mind as well. There you go, hopefully that's given you a bit of a spark of inspiration as to what you can do with the billboards and hopefully it's got you set up now so you know what you're doing, you can get WebM format video into the game. And also, keep your eyes out, I've got a feeling a few people are working on some sort of uh, sort of sharing platforms for textures and videos to go into the game. I've heard some news on the grapevine, so keep an eye out for that as well. There may soon be a place where you're going to be able to find loads of great textures and videos that are set up in perfect sort of format. Uh, for the game there you go uh, so billboards awesome great custom content real game changer can't wait to dive into my look at the fish jumping when the video restarts uh, can't wait to jump into my own uh, my own save and uh, put some stuff in there proper thank you very much for watching hope you've enjoyed it if you have please give us a like it really does help out the channel and if you're not already don't forget to subscribe any thoughts queries or suggestions pop them down in the comments and if you fancy a chat you can find me on twitter i'm at john t sparrow thanks again for watching i'll see you in the next one